For the past year, an artificial intelligence war between OpenAI, Microsoft, Google and others has changed the disruptive field, each competing head-to-head -head and releasing new and more powerful models. While Google was not the first on the AI scene, it now intends to rise to the top with Gemini, a speculated as the most powerful AI model ever to exist. Gemini is an AI model trained to behave in human-like ways that might intensify the debate about the technology's potential promise and perils. Gemini is expected to be the most powerful AI ever built. It will have sophisticated multimodal capabilities, master human-style conversations, language and content, understand and interpret images, code effectively, drive data and analytics, and be used by the developers to create new AI apps and APIs. In the near future, Gemini can be expected to at least or even power most of Google's products and services. Gemini was created from the ground up to be multi-model. That was the key phrase by Sundar Pichai, where he also claimed that it's an AI to build an AI with an AI, which I kind of didn't get, but yeah. The very beginning is that we always viewed our mission as a timeless mission. It's to organize the world's information and make it universally accessible and useful. It can even recognize what's going on on a video feed and respond in real time, like for example, you're drawing a house, then it will recognize that you're drawing a house and respond according to that, even in different languages. It can keep track of things on an ongoing videotape, which is truly insane, like finding a ball under the cup. It can even connect the dots. Besides these, creating images on the basis of prompts and objects so fade into it like stable diffusion and generating music on the basis of prompt are some common things it can do. Not only just text to audio, but image to audio as well. It's also good on logic and spatial reasoning. In the future, it can even create an architectural outline just on the basis of some pictures fed into it. Google also unveiled AlphaCode 2, which is better than 90% of the programmers, which is a bad news for programmers as it can break codes using techniques like dynamic programming. The rollout will unfold in phases with less sophisticated versions of Gemini called Nano and Pro leading it to the ultra versions of Gemini called Ultra Gemini being incorporated into Google's AI powered chatbot BART and its Pixel 8 Pro smartphone already. If you are in US then you can use Gemini right now using the BART chatbot. However, it is just using Gemini Pro the mid-range version. BART is obviously better than it was months ago but after using it for a few minutes, you start realizing that it is not as good as GPT-4. When looking at comparisons, GPT-4 is stronger than Gemini Pro, but weaker than Gemini Ultra in many aspects, almost all of them. What's surprising is that GPT-4 surpasses Ultra Gemini on the factor of Hella Swag, which is designed to evaluate common sense natural language having AI finish a sentence that is vague and ambiguous. For example, if I give the prompt to Ultra Gemini, like a man in the street is dancing, hence he is a dash, which is easier for a human to fill out but also for an AI which kind of feels vacant on the feature not to be so emphasized on a multi-model AI. While for GPT-4, even though the prompt that I pass is full of typo and half empty, then it somehow seems to know what I want to say. The scale of Gemini is so large that they had to communicate between multiple data centers that help in combining different AI models into one. Machine learning and AI models such as graph processing, computer vision, audio processing, language models, coding and programming and 3D models need to be integrated and orchestrated to achieve synergy when developing multi-model AI. Ultra is going to be really amazing but here comes the disappointment. The Nano and Pro version will be available on December 13 but for Ultra you might have to wait till 2024 because of the so-called safety tests for multi-model AI. When comparing Gemini with ChatGPT many experts talk about parameters. ChatGPT4, the most advanced AI in operations, has 1.75 trillion parameters in contrast Gemini is reported to exceed this number, with reports claiming it will have 30 trillion or even 65 trillion parameters. Google is fully committed to building a more versatile, powerful and context-aware AI capable of understanding and interacting with the world in new and unprecedented ways. If 2023 ends up being seen as the year AI hits mainstream awareness and use, 2024 could really be the year for Gemini. Stay updated. Thank you very much.